I just want to get a feel for, is this on? Yes. It is. Oh, yeah, I hear it. Okay. I mean, you, you, can, te you can test it, Kevin, or just... No, I think, it, I think it's going to be fine because um, yeah, I mean, I Caitlin's a little bit shorter, yep. so she should be... Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm not going to try to get in. <laughs> yeah, no, just no. natural. Yeah, um, yeah, just kind of a natural, just yeah. keep your normal voice. Perfect. It comes out nice if you get too close and too loud.
loving providence you gave us mark to grow in wisdom, age, and grace. And now you have called him to yourself. As we grieve over the loss of someone so young, we seek to understand your purpose. Draw him to yourself. Give him full stature in Christ. May he stand with all the angels and saints who know your love and praise your saving will. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the scriptures. Oh. Our first reader today is Caitlin. You'll do just as well in the reading as you did with your <laughs> Thank wonderful you. words. Okay? A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The just man, though he died early, shall be at rest. For the age that is honorable comes not with the passing of time, nor can it be measured in terms of years. Rather, understanding is the crown for men in a blameless life, the attainment of old age. He who pleased God, who loved, he who lived amongst sinners was transported, snatched away, lest sin change his mind. Having become perfect in a short while, he reached the fullness of a long career, for his soul was pleasing to the Lord. Therefore, he sped him out of the midst of sinfulness. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Indeed, we know that when the earthly tent in which we dwell is destroyed, we have a dwelling provided for us by God, a dwelling in the heavens, not made by hands, but to last forever. Therefore, we continue to be confident. We know that while we dwell in the body, we are away from the Lord. We walk by faith, not by sight. I repeat, we are full of confidence and would much rather be away from the body at home with the Lord. This being so, we make it our aim to please him, whether we are with him or away from him. The lives of all of us are to be revealed before the tribunal of Christ so that each one may receive his recompense according to his life in the body. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel this morning is the 25th chapter of St. Matthew. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in glory, escorted by the angels of heaven, he will be seated on his glorious throne, and all the nations will assemble before him. Then he will separate them into two groups, just as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. The sheep he will place on his right hand and the goats on his left. He will say to those on his right, Come, you have my Father's blessing. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. For when I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me, naked and you clothed me. I was ill and you comforted me. In prison, you came to visit me. They will turn and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? When did we welcome you away from home or clothe you in your nakedness? When did we visit you when you were ill or in prison? He will say unto them, I assure you, as often as you have done these things for the least of my sisters or my brothers, you did them unto me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated. 
And once again, thank you all for coming here today. You know I've been a priest 54 years, and I can tell you that some of the things I learned about life and everything, it's a support to a family at a time like this is so important. You don't know what it does, and God, I hope we don't, we all have to go through sadness at times, but when it happens, the support of friends, young and old, classmates from school, co-workers from Middlebury, neighborhood friends, kids that, from St. Gabriel's School, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. You're, you're all one of them. That support to this family is immeasurable. I don't know how many times people would say to me through the years, I don't want to go to the funeral home. What, what do you say, Father? This is my first wake or my first funeral. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I know what to say. It's like, it isn't the words. It isn't the words. It's your presence in this. And an embrace, of course. As in the first, in the book of Ecclesiastes, that beautiful word, we know it's because the Hollies, you don't know who the Hollies were. They were a group back in my day. To everything turn, there is a season, a time to embrace and a time to be away from embraces, a time to be born, a time to, be, to, to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant. You know that beautiful, beautiful reading. And when I think of that reading in this time of COVID, like a year ago, April of last year, when there's no embraces, never mind embraces, you couldn't go near anybody, stay in your house. It was, it's not human to have to do that, that you can't visit a dying parent in the hospital. We couldn't go in the hospital. Me, a priest all those years, I couldn't go to Milford Hospital or Yale. I couldn't go. You're not allowed. Stay home, Father. Well, say prayers on the phone. What? We're human beings. We need the embraces. You need a, a hug from your pastor. Right? I need a hug from Bruno. Not now. Later, the two of us. The three of us will hug. But the point is, we have gone through a, a time now that we understand the importance of, of human contact and of, of uh, love. And that includes words and embraces. But your presence here today, the kind words entering and coming and going, are the greatest healer and healing for this family. And for, oh, to please give our condolences from Father Brinsmade and myself and all of us uh, to uh, Justin and Brody. They don't know me. And, uh, and uh, I. Caitlin and Emily, and all of you, I know, and Jason, of course, and Kevin, uh, you're a wonderful family. As I said, I go back so long that uh, uh, Mark would have been about 10 or 11. I remember very well, I've got a good memory, your family coming to Mass. In those days, it was rare to see parents come in with some tall boys, teenagers, to Mass as a family. You don't see it today, I'll tell you too much. And you think boys wanted to get up and go to Mass when you're teenagers, you want to sack out and you don't want to come to church. But those two, I don't know how you got them out of bed, but you did it. I remember them very clearly coming up the aisle every Sunday to receive the Eucharist with their family. They were a credit to a uh, uh, Canadian uh, background of of Catholicism and, and love. And you did a good job. So it's all the more hard to have to see you at a time like this. But as I said at the beginning and right now, our faith is our strength, my dear friends, and we better hold on to it and cherish it. Uh, I have a lot of notes here and I probably won't use any of them, but if one thing that COVID has taught us about life and friendships and relationships it's not what we have in life. 
God knows that we all have plenty. It's who we have in our life that counts. All those things are things that come in and out of our lives. But it's who we have that we must cherish the most. Because it is a shorter journey than you think. And in Mark's case, I truly believe it, to give you some hope, it's not how long we live, but how well we live that is important. A long life is nice. Prince Philip had a long life, and he did a heck of a lot. Just that as an example, it seems like he did a heck of a lot of good. The charities in England abounded because of his uh, determination to do things for, for his country and his military service and all that. But everyone doesn't go nine decades. But we all are given an opportunity and a chance to touch lives and from the words. And I didn't have to hear the eulogies. I, I'm not, I love them and I know it. But, and I, they gave me some notes because they thought, old Father Maroney, he's starting to lose it. We better give him some high points. And of course, now I, I can't find them. Let's see, just mention a few, just to let you know I, I don't know, that's the prayer of the faithful. Anyway, I'm better on my own anyway. My dear friends, as I said, let's uh, cherish his memory. And uh, from this gathering this morning, let's go out here with a resolution that we will try to be a, as good as he was in life in many things. God knows most of them, but you folks know some of them. And Bruno and Lise, you know many of them. Because you gave him those qualities and the importance of those things. And they're all in the gospel I just proclaimed. Those works of mercy, you've all heard them. All you need is a warm, loving heart and you do those things. Thank God, for even that is a good thing that came out of, the, out of the virus. Look at the first responders. Look at the people that have, are going to go into nursing because of that. The young people going into these professions because they realize it's service, what it's all about. When Jesus washed the feet of those disciples, and the, one of them, which one, Peter said, not mine. No, 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 you're too good for that, Lord. I won't let you wash my feet. He said, if I cannot wash your feet, you can have no part of me. You don't get it. We are to serve one another. This is how they will know that you are my disciples and that you have love for each other. And if we don't have that, this, I came to earth and died for nothing. We have to walk in the footsteps of the Savior and do what he did. Humble service and be willing to do those works of mercy. It's so simple to be a Christian. <laughs> we complicate it. We make it harder than it is. Read the 25th chapter of Matthew and just go do it. And I'm sure Mark did it. I always try to, I don't try to make laughs out of it, but and what are that? Well, some of that is sometimes you have to be sitting with someone and say, you got trouble, sit down, I'll buy you a beer and we'll talk or I'll listen. I guess he was pretty good at that, right? He could do that. He, he's a people person. And he, he, he wanted to be engaged with others. Everybody doesn't have that gift. But Mark had that. And I'm sure if you were his friend, as, she, as you said, Caitlin, the old line we say, but I understand, the shirt off his back. He, he'd do what he could and if you need it, if you needed it. Isn't that a nice legacy to have? As people can say was well, you you always knew you could count on Mark if if in need. Perhaps his work was done and the Lord uh, needed him. We don't know. It's not for us to know. It's only for us to show gratitude for his life and his and his witness to kindness and love and uh, forgiveness. And if we can take a little bit of that and go on in our life and do better, then he's all set.
That's how I see it. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through God's mercy rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Now let us stand for our prayers of petition. <clears throat> let us offer our prayers and confidence to our loving God. I'm going to call forth our brother Kevin to lead us in the petition. To be a part of this Mass, your name has to begin with a K. <laughs> Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Mark, devoted father, brother, uncle, nephew, cousin, and friend, in baptism he received the pledge of everlasting life. May God grant him the reward of his goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the deceased members of the Bolargion and Tangway family, may they welcome Mark into paradise and greet him with open arms. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For talented and meticulous craftsmen and carpenters, may Jesus the divine carpenter bless them and watch over them in their craftsmanship and creativity. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all families, may God watch over them. In good times and difficult times, may God's grace and love fill their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For peace in a world that is less than peaceful at times, and for peace and unity within our nation, may peace begin in the hearts of each and every one of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of us who grieve Mark's family and friends as we celebrate his new life in Christ, may we find comfort and consolation in our faith, and in our wonderful memories of Mark. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you have heard our prayers, and we hold others in our hearts quietly for friends and family. Grant them to us through the merits of your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I am tired, I am weak, I am alone, through the storm. sacrificial offerings. Wash away in the blood of Christ the sins of our departed brother, Mark, and purify unceasingly by your merciful forgiveness those you once cleansed in the waters of baptism. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. And with your, and with your spirit. spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and salvation to always and everywhere give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. In Christ, the hope of blessed resurrection has gone, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. For your faithful people, Lord, life is changed, not ended, and an eternal dwelling place is made ready for them in heaven. Now we join with the angels and saints in a hymn of praise as together we acclaim. said the blessing and broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, he said to them, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, after the supper was ended, he took the chalice and again gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, and he said to them, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Jesus Christ, we all will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. In union with Holy Father Pope Francis, our Bishop Leonard, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people of God, your Son has gained for you. Let us remember our brother our friend, Mark, whom you have called from this life unto yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all of our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, and all who have died in your mercy, and welcome them to the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that in union with the Blessed Mary, Virgin Mother of God, with Blessed St. Joseph, 
all of the apostles and martyrs and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them in eternal life, and we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from worry or distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give unto you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace of your kingdom. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord always be with you. And with, with your spirit. Turned by the, the side aisle. If you're not disposed or you're not prepared for Eucharist, if you're a Catholic or a non Catholic or a Muslim, but you want to just have a little blessing, receive a blessing, that's okay. Come forward. Myself, I'm not going to ask the Lord to bless you, okay? Or remain in your seats. Pray for um, Mark and his family, all right? I hope I made everything clear. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But I will say the word, and my soul shall be blessed. Amen.
to your heart, rejoice and sing, for you are home at last and forever in the arms of the Holy One. Go in peace, God be with you. Go in peace, be at rest with the saints and the angels. Now you are free. Go in peace. Please stand and let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that your servant and son, <coughs> Mark, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from all sin and receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now have our prayers of commendation, and then that will conclude our liturgy. Everyone, thank you once again for being here. And uh, plant a tree. For today is Earth Day, so it's a perfect uh, recommendation in his memory. Enjoy the day. Enjoy this beautiful day. He, he wants us to celebrate it. I guess he liked to walk the trails and walk the woods. Well, this, is, this, this day is dedicated to, to Mark and his uh, life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we'll be on the train. Trusting in God, we have prayed this morning for our brother. We come to this last farewell. There is sadness in parting. We take comfort in the hope that one day we will see Mark again. We will enjoy his love and friendship and laughter. Let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Turn toward us 
Listen to our prayers, open the gates of paradise tomorrow, and help us who remain to comfort one another until we all meet in Christ. We are with Mark and with Christ forever. Amen. May the choirs of angels welcome you. May the martyrs welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem, and where Lazarus, who is poor no longer, Mark of Erzheron, may you have eternal happiness and joy. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in peace. Please, you are my eagle's wing.